Boker Tov, good morning. Uh, we continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah, and I wanted to share with you the Torah that, um, that I shared last night at our program of learning for the merit of Rabbi Greenberg and his refua, Harav Alter Shmuel Ben Chavaleya, may he have indeed a refua shalem of Bekarov. This is what I want us to, just to appreciate about a transition that happens between Yom Kippur and through Sukkot till Shemini Atzeres. And I think it's a dramatic change that, well, in, in focus, which obviously we know, well, Yom Kippur is a pretty heavy day, and Sukkot is a celebratory time, but it also is a, is a, is a radical different focus about our, and, and, and reflection on ourselves. Because what was Yom Kippur? What did we do as we engaged in the Chameshet Inuyim, the five elements of self-affliction, that we uh, took part in. And the truth is, in many ways, we, uh, as, as, as described as our um, playing out, as it were, our own demise, our own mortality. And we wear the frock, the tachrichin of the dead, and uh, we dehydrate ourselves. And at the, perhaps at the peak of, uh, of the most powerful tefillah, which we recite both on on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we say of ourselves, Adam Yisodome Afar, Vesofola Afar, that the human being, our elemental space is where we are, we are um, based in earth and our return is to earth. That is our end, quoting, really referencing the Pasuk in Bracious, where uh, Adam was so cursed. So, on Yom Kippur, we imagine ourselves bereft of life, of vitality, in need of heavenly compassion, and uh, hopefully through uh, the cathartic experience, uh, we have a transformation and we have a faith in, in, the, in, the, in the power of the atonement that we achieve in Yom Kippur. And then we shift, and we shift to Sukkot. Uh, and in Sukkot, we, we imagine ourselves not in this monochromatic um, earth, earth way, but rather in the fullness of ourselves, enlivened and full and filled out with all of our dimensions. So that we'll say some Hoshanas where we'll talk about all the all the elements. And on Hoshana Rabbah, one of the Hoshanot that we recite, one of those prayers in which we're asking for God's Yeshua, for God to be in, in, here to uh, to save us. Uh, we refer to our to everything about us, Basar Veruach, Unashama, Gid, the Etzem, the Rikma. We are flesh and breath and soul and sinew, and bone, and tissue, um, that's us. And then we, we are focusing throughout Sukkot, we don't really realize it, but there was, a, there was the, the uh, ancient practice of celebrating in the Beit HaMikdash times, the Simchat Beit HaShoeva, the, the celebration of drawing in the water, and we'll recite as we will arrive at Shemini Atzeres, the prayer for Geshen, the prayer for rain, and we've taken ourselves that have been dehydrated, as it were, in Yom Kippur, and we have rehydrated ourselves, and we imagine ourselves in the fullness of, of our capacities. That's sukkahs. We take all these species and we shake them, and, and, and we we'll enter the sukkah, um, that is, you know, and, and dwell with the Shekhinah, with God's presence, and uh, we'll feel uh, ruach, well, spirit, and breath, and fire of the Shekhinah and the soul, uh, the pulsing persona of a body that has vigor once more. That's what we're supposed to be experiencing. And imagine what we should do with ourselves now that God has given us life. So as we learn this Sukkot evening, um, in the merit of Harav Alter Shmuel Ben Chav, we, we learned last night, I should say, in the merit of Harav Alter Shmuel Ben Chavaleya, we hope and we pray for him that God give him a refuah and, uh, and enable him to, uh, to once more be at his full of vigor be able to do its own Hashem and God's will and be there um, as a colleague and leader in our community as well. May this be a day in which we appreciate the gifts that we have and pray for others to have them too.